2012 Olympics, as Team USA played Australia, Kobe was having a surprisingly weak first half. It happens. Player has something else on their mind, they just feel off. They can't get focused for whatever reason. Most guys who start a game that fini- that way finish even worse. But the greats can recognize they need to turn it around. And that's what Kobe did, hitting four three-pointers in just over a minute leading the Americans to 119 to 86 victory, just searching for something to activate the Black Mamba, which was his uh, alter ego nickname, for those who don't know. He said after the game, just finding his way back into the zone. Michael was the only player I've ever known who was completely in the zone every time he played. Always a cleaner. Even in games where he'd cruise a little, it would eventually come out. I recall one night in Vancouver during the Bulls' 72 win season, everyone was tired from the long annual November road trip, and it was a rare game when the Bulls were getting killed. But the fourth quarter, Michael had only 10 points, and the Grizzlies' Derek Martin started talking a little trash at him. (laughs) You never, ever challenge Michael Jordan and expect to come out ahead. Michael literally stopped on the court, looked at the guy, shook his head, and said, let a sleeping dog lie. The dark side said, Kill this motherfucker, and he went into the attack <laughs> mode, straight into the zone. Result unstoppable. He went on unbelievable Terry score, scoring 19 points in the quarter on the way to a Bulls win. And Derek Martin spent the rest of the game on the bench. <laughs> Shut your mouth, Derek Martin. Shut your fucking mouth, man. Damn, that's <laughs> nice. Win is win. Yeah, and Whew. that man, like, just in terms of just the Jordan persona, and that's where a lot of sports. Um, athletes can go really well is developing an alter ego for themselves and it's like he might be Michael Jordan off the court and he might be a bit more relaxed and chill for example like playing golf oh, and I know where you're going with this yep but then on court he is a he's Jordan he's a fucking snake yeah he's a fucking you know motherfucker that's gonna kill you so yeah, yeah I really rated that sort of so you taking from that what was kind of the takeaway from the one? Uh, yeah, I got to commend Tim Grover. He looks great. Like, in the, especially in the documentary, he looks really healthy. He looks yeah. great. He looks like you know some trainers and coaches in their later parts of their careers they kind of lose it. He yeah. looks like he's staying on top of it. So respect. Yeah, but exactly right. What was your kind of takeaway from Tim Grover's Relentless? I think a lot of the stuff that I say to myself, whether it be like you can always sort of Goggins sort of um, mentality as well. You can always push a little bit more. Your mind is going to be the first thing to go. And I think you can train your mind and callous it to where you can always push beyond your limits. Yeah. That's going to make you a better, first of all, athlete. You know, you always like, and you're just going to, you're going to be better in all parts of your life as well. 